Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filling a page in my Crescent Render sketchbook. Um, I used a red cool erase pencil to sketch all these and then here I'm just coloring them in with my Copic markers. And something I'm really trying to work on is filling up a whole page in my sketchbook. I don't really like to leave a lot of blank spaces. Um, I know in my last one I kind of did like a bigger face and then there was like awkward areas to like fill up like I don't know what to fill them with because they're just kind of like weirdly shaped so I'm trying to work on my spacing so on this one I did like the smaller faces but then each time I draw another face I never know how, like how big it's gonna end up and like where it's gonna be so I'm just trying to work on my layout so here I'm coloring with the curves of the face um, just so if any lines show through it's like with the lines of the face so it looks normal I guess and then oh it's so hard to color in those tiny strands of hair with a marker oh but I really really like how this braid came out I don't really draw braids anymore I feel like I used to all the time but I just I don't know I don't anymore but I feel like it gives it like a nice like detail to look at and like the wispies still kind of look flowy so the braids not too stiff All right, then um, I just colored in her shirt, this greenish gray color, and I should have stopped there because it was a total mistake to add this like saturated green on her shirt. I added it in because like where the light was hitting it in the reference photo it was more saturated, but this is just too much contrast and I wish there was an undo button. Ugh. All right, on this next one, I'm coloring her face like section by section again, like I said. I'm just coloring with the curve of the face. And I used a different color for her skin tone than the last girl, just to like contrast a little bit. And then here you can see where her like cheek kind of, I like colored her cheek first and then when I go over it and it overlaps a little bit with her jaw, that's like a nice place for it to be darker. So that's why I like working like section by section. Oh, and I'm really proud of that dimple. I don't usually draw dimples, but I feel like that one came out like so good. Oh, also like where the curve of her cheek it's kind of like her smile line too, how that came out. Um, I don't know, I don't usually draw the smile line just because it kind of make your character look older, like, like wrinkles or something, but I feel like that's just subtle enough that I really like the outcome. I am not proud of that hand though, oh my gosh, she looks like, she has like a claw or like she's missing a finger, even though it wasn't showing in the reference I used, it just looks like she's missing a finger in this, I don't know. Uh, then I'm just going in with a different, it's like a little bit more pink. It's like kind of close in shade, but I'm just going to go over and overlap for some darker areas. Oh, and I like that I included the eye bags in this. It just makes it look like she's like smiling a little bit more. And then I went over with some pink for her lips and then I was onto her hair. And for this, I went um, strand by strand instead of doing a base color and then my darker colors. Um, so I went strand by strand so I could blend in that darker color towards her roots. Um, I could blend it in with the lighter color while the ink was still wet. So the blend is just really smooth and I really like how that looks. The lighter color I was using for her hair was kind of drying up. So I need to order a refill. It looks a little bit patchy, but I know I'm going to go over with the colored pencil and kind of hide that a little bit. All right, once I make the flowers on her flower crown, I start coloring those in pink. It kind of tones down the pink of her lips, which I thought was a little bit shocking at first, so I'm glad I chose pink for her flower crown. Then I colored her eyes a nice light blue. I gave her some eyebrows, um, and I really like the overall color palette of this, like the pink and the blue, and then like the hint of yellow kind of in her skin tone. I really like how that came out. I really, really like that sketch of the girl with the hat and I like, I don't know, like halfway I didn't want to ruin it with markers if it came out bad, but halfway I also thought it just like popped against the other two right next to it that were already in color. So I just left it blank, but that top one that I didn't color, oh my god, that's, <laughs> just ignore that, that's so bad, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, then I went in with my Prismacolor colored pencils and started lining her facial features. Um, and then I used that same brown color that I used for her face. I used to line her hair 
and here's where I was talking just adding in like all the lines of the different strands with the colored pencil it just really helps hide the patchiness of that lighter color I use a little bit of pink on her lips and then some black for her eyelashes to make her eyes really stand out and then I used blue to line her irises and add in her pupils and I decided not to go in with white gel pen on this just to give it like a softer look like a little bit more natural I guess all right, back to that first girl, I started lining her hair, just adding in all the different strands with that same brown color I was using. And then I just really like defined her braid a little bit more. I also added some extra flyaway hairs with the colored pencil, because it's easier to like get in there. It's like smaller than the markers, so it works really good. Um, then I lined her face, I gave her some eyelashes, I shaded her eyes in a little bit more just to make them look, like give them some little more dimension, I guess. Um, I did the same thing with her cheekbones. I shaded those in a little bit. And then last, I just used um, a green to line her shirt. I don't know if that would like take away from the weird color, but it really didn't, but that's okay. And then I was done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!